back to HTTV. I am Alex Clark. And I'm Xavier Spinsby. And today I'll be sending it over to Xavier at the Student Athlete Interviews. Alright, guys, I'm going to ask you a few questions about football player interviews. So, I need you guys to answer what is your favorite memory from the last four years in football? Um, just thinking right off the top of my head, I'd probably have to say, uh, what, it, probably ninth, I think it was ninth grade. Uh, the last game of the season against uh, Northwestern, or it was one of the last games against Northwestern, and uh, it was a really close game, and we had to win to make it to the playoffs. And uh, I remember the atmosphere was just absolutely, it was just pretty crazy, so that was pretty fun. What about you, Silas? I guess pretty much, I guess my favorite experience was like, any football practice of Ty Hofer, because you never know what to expect. You'd always pull something out of the air and just surprise you, so. All right then, um, great answers. Uh, what are you going to miss about football? Um, probably the thing I'm gonna miss the most is like the feelings or the feeling you get uh, like right in the locker room before you go out to play on Friday night and then uh, Obviously, the feeling of when you're on the field. Nice. And what about you, Silas? Um, definitely just the atmosphere of the game. So. So we love the atmosphere. So what aren't you going to miss then? Conditioning. Yeah, that's gonna be the first week of <laughs> football practice. Not the best. And in that case, what advice would you give to the upper the underclassmen? Condition before football. Yeah, definitely. Before it starts. What difference does that make, like truly? It's conditioning in football practice is way less hard. It's easier. <laughs> um, that's good for both. I'd have to say that, <laughs> I'd have to say um, that to, I don't know. <laughs> can you guys edit some of these parts out? Yeah, we can, we can edit, we can cut anything. Okay, uh, probably. Just to uh, work hard and make the most of the four years because it's going to go by really fast. So Enjoy yourself, too. Nice. All righty. Well, that's... Uh, did I actually... Oh, okay. Well, we'll cut that out. Anyway, so I am Xavier Sinsley here at Page TV. We'll be interviewing our two news people, Cody Wright and Alex Clark, for their football experience. So, gentlemen, what would be your favorite memory from the last four years? Um, my favorite memory would have to be listening to Silas Hartford giving a speech before every game and just trying to get us so pumped and it would work for a couple minutes, but he'd always end up messing it up at the end and everyone would just think it was the funniest thing ever, but it would still work half the time. Yeah. My favorite was probably, uh, it was one day after practice and Kyle gave a, a speech for us. It was the most random thing and it was after and he goes, you know what, we can beat them but they have to go out and beat us. And everybody just broke out laughing. It was, it was the best thing. Oh, that's, uh, that's fun to hear. So that being said, what are you guys going to miss? Um, I'm gonna miss um, playing football every practice with my teammates, just seeing each other, push each other, and work hard, and we almost built a bond. I'll miss that bond that we all had together. We're not teammates, we're almost brothers. Yeah, I, I'm going to miss like the chemistry that we kind of built over the years. Because, I mean, we've been playing with each other since like sixth grade. So we pretty much know what everybody else does. So it's going to be a little odd next year. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be odd. I'd miss that too. That being said, what aren't you going to miss? Um, I'm not going to miss the coaches saying get on the line at all. I'm not going to miss conditioning. But I... It's not as bad once you get late in the season, but those first couple weeks of conditioning, I'm not going to miss. Not going to miss it? No. Alrighty. So, that being said, what advice would you guys give the younger classmen? Um, just work hard in everything that you do at practice and at games. Don't just show up for the games and work hard. you got to do it at practice. Be the first one in every drill to go. Show the coaches that you want to be there and work hard so they'll put you in and give you a chance down the road. Uh, I'd say don't let it slip away. Like, you only get so long for it, and you get possibly four years 
playing. That's nine weeks of it every year. So you don't always have it after football. So don't let it slip away and take it for granted. Yeah, just some wise words, gentlemen. That was a wonderful interview. All right, and that concludes that. So enjoy the rest of your day, fellas. This is Xavier Sunzu with HTTV. All right, welcome to HTTV, and I'll be interviewing uh, Cambry here. My name's Xavier Spinsley, and let's get started. So, Cambry, what was it like running in Rapid City this year? Um, it was a pretty fun experience. It was really cold, and there was a decent amount of snow, but it was still fun for my first state meet. Nice, nice. I actually didn't know it was snowing during that, I'll be honest. Um, how did you do? Uh, do you know your time? Um... I do know my time, but I don't really want to share it because it wasn't my best time, but I still did pretty well. All right, that works. You don't have to share the time here. Um, how did you? How how did your season go? I thought my season went pretty good. Um, I had a few meets where I was kind of off, but um, I've improved a lot. That's so. good to hear. And last but not least, what would you tell your younger classes about cross country? Um. It's actually fun. It does not seem very fun, but it actually can be. Um, it's not easy, but yeah. uh, we might just go the extra mile. What do you? What makes it fun for you personally? Um, well, I have a fun team, and I guess my coach is. She's not too strict, and we. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of a fun atmosphere. None of us are too serious we're all pretty laid back and i don't know that's good to hear all right well thank you for your time and that'll be the end of the interview thank you xavier what a wonderful interview oh you're welcome xavier what a wonderful guy you know i mean he's a he's a good looking fellow too oh yeah he is now over to cody with the elementary interviews <laughs> okay well, what's your name broken yeah i'm broken how are you good you good how's your day going Good. Pretty good. Doing anything interesting today? We took flu shots. Oh, how was that? It kind of hurt, but yeah. just a little. You're surviving, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Have you done anything interesting this week at all? Like anything fun? Um. Uh, this recess we were just uh, building a snow fort. You build a snow fort? Yeah, is it a big snow fort? Yes. Yeah, how big is it? You making it really, really big? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Um, are you excited for Halloween this week? Yes. Yeah, what are you going as? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember what you're dressing up as? No. No, you you excited for some trick or treating? Or I think I think it's trick or trunking this year. I don't remember what they called it, but. But, yeah, trunk. yeah, that'd be kind of interesting, won't it? All right. Well, thank you, Brecken. You can have a good rest of your day and have a fun weekend. Okay. You too. Bye. Hello. 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 What's your name? Tess. Hi, Tess. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Doing anything interesting today? Um, still watching a movie. You're watching a movie. What movie? Um. The peanuts, the Halloween one. Hmm. I, think. I have never seen that. Is it pretty good? We we just watched. Well, we haven't watched it yet, but we're going to. Oh. Okay. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that movie. So. Have you guys done anything exciting at all this week then? Mm, at music today, um, we got our Christmas band book. You got your Christmas band book. Any cool songs on there? Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. You excited for that then? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited for Halloween? Yes. Yeah. What are you going as? Um, a zombie something. You're going to dress up as a zombie something? Yeah, I think so. That could be cool. Are you excited for trick-or-treating then? Yes. Yeah. You're going to get all the candy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Make sure to share with your siblings now. So, all right. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Kylie. Kylie. 
How are you doing today, Kylie? Good. Good? What grade are you in? Fifth. You're in fifth grade? That's pretty cool. Have you guys had anything interesting going on this week at all? Um, we're learning about biomes. Biomes? That's pretty cool. Do you have a favorite one? No, we're just learning about the tundra right now. The tundra? It's pretty cold, right? Yeah. Are you excited for Halloween? Yeah. Yeah? What are you dressing up as? Witch. You're going to dress up as a witch? That could be pretty cool. Are you going to go trick-or-treating then? Um, I might. You might? You got to get all that candy, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. You have a good time trick-or-treating. Yeah. All right. Take care. Excellent job for the interviews, Cody. Now on to ask the sports. Um, to start off, the volleyball girls played Sully Buttes in one and three sets. They played Warner and lost in five sets. And then they played Weston and Springs in one and three sets. And that finishes off their regular season. So now they'll be moving on to Regions. Very nice. Good to hear. And with that being said, we'll be moving on to our calendar for the next week. With Monday, we'll have the uh, elementary basketball at Sanborn Central. And for regions, there'll be volleyball regions at the first round at 6 p.m. on Monday. So Tuesday, we'll have volleyball regions the second round. It'll be at 6 p.m. Then we don't have anything till Thursday with the uh, FFA going to Jackrabbit at an invite. And the volleyball regions will have their third round on Thursday at 6 p.m. And then on to Friday, there'll be enhancement and the, the uh, football semifinals at 7 p.m. So... It's your birthday. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's your, your birthday. birthday. All right, on our favorite topic, the birthdays. So to start us off, Alex. We have Alex Waldner. And then Presley Binger. And that's all for this week. We hope you had a good time sitting with us and hearing what we had to say. See you next week.